guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Denise and I make videos mostly about Harry Potter, Disney and some lifestyle. So for today's video, I wanted to try something new. Personally, I really enjoy watching monthly favorites videos. So I thought why not try making one myself. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So starting off with my favorite film of the month of November, you might be able to guess it's Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. It got released halfway November and I got to attend the Fantastic Beasts night at my local movie theater. If you want to see my spoiler-free review, I will link it down below. My favorite book for this month is this one, The Archive of Magic, The Crimes of Grindelwald. As you can see, it's got a beautiful cover and if you open it up, it looks like this. There's a note. Um, just like the one we see in the movie because there's loads of replicas in this book. So it opens up like this. Like I said, there's loads of replicas in this book. I carefully took them out to use them in Instagram flat lays, things like that. And I will show you them right now. So we have Nicholas Flamel's card. Newt Scamander's Ministry of Magic identity card opens up to show his information, his fingerprints and a moving picture. The Paris postcard that Tina sends to Queenie with the message on the back. The Spellbound magazine in which the faulty article was printed. Credence Barebone Certificate of Adoption, which looks like this. And of course, this little note that I could not get out, but if you open it, it reveals this message. And last but not least, two circus posters and an honorable mention for The Crimes of Grindelwald screenplay, which is also a great book a great read it really helps you understand the story i thought reading a script was not for me but once you try it it's actually really enjoyable and like i said you get to know the characters a lot better and you really understand the story and i've also got the fantastic beast version i still have to read this one my favorite harry potter merchandise for the month of november i really couldn't pick one. Earlier this month I managed to get my hands on an item that I've wanted for so long and it's this Akami Funko Pop vinyl figure. As you can see it's really big, it's beautiful, almost iridescent. As you might know, I really love Akamis and this might well be my favorite item. Then I had to mention these little guys because last week these came in. They were an early Christmas present from my boyfriend. First of all, this guy here. I was gonna say this little guy, but he's really not that little. He's actually really big. He's also a Funko Pop, but he's a very large one. And he looks absolutely adorable. And he's holding on to this little watch. And he is everything. And then to go with the big Niffler, I also got these two baby Nifflers. They came in a two pack. There's also another kind of two pack with two dark gray blackish nifflers, but I got the one with the black and brown niffler. And they are so cute, and I love the different poses they're in. They're just perfect for anyone who loves Fantastic Beasts. My favorite piece of Disney merchandise for the month of November has got to be this Rapunzel figurine. And I actually won her using this app. I will get back to that later. She came in a couple of weeks ago and she's been chilling in my workspace ever since because she is just so cute. I've also got an honorable mention. I've got this reusable Cinderella shopping bag and it's made of canvas materials like a tote bag. I got it from Primark, it was really inexpensive and I am very much into being good to our environment. I'm not vegan, but I do try to make an effort. For example, reducing the use of plastic. I never buy plastic bags anymore. I always bring one of these guys with me. They're always within reach. I've got loads of them, but when I saw the Cinderella one, I just had to have it. 
Then I also wanted to include my favorite small business purchase because I think it's a really good thing to support small businesses. These two prints from... Oh dear, I should have looked this up. I don't remember her full name, but it was Anya something. I will link it down below, of course. And she makes these beautiful prints. She draws them herself and you can buy prints from her in all different sizes. She's got all four Hogwarts houses and many, many more. Loads of animals. They're all so beautiful. And of course, I've got Ravenclaw because that's my house. And I also got Slytherin because that's my boyfriend's house. I bought the A4 size prints and I got these frames from Ikea. And I think these are absolutely beautiful. Jumping into my favorite beauty product, it's actually not a product I want to talk about, it's a brand. Most of you who are familiar with makeup brands know Tarte makeup. I recently tried them for the first time and the reason for that is because I ran out of my makeup. So I had to get new stuff and I wanted to try a vegan and cruelty free brand. I used to have MAC makeup, but since there's some issues with testing on animals, I decided that I don't want to use MAC anymore. So I decided to try Tarte. I decided to try Tarte because it's a affordable brand which is also animal friendly. Got this brush. I've always wanted one of these brushes just out of curiosity. So when I placed this order, I was like, yeah, I'll throw a brush in there as well. And I'm gonna be honest. These things are life-changing. I used to use a um, beauty blender and I still do, I mix it up, but this one is amazing. Then the foundation I got is the Shape Tape Matte Foundation and it's the color Fair Neutral and you can apply it with this. I just dot my face with this and then I use this brush to blend it and let me tell you, it is very blendable. It's amazing stuff. For the concealer, I got the Shape Tape Concealer. It works the same way. It's got one of these little application tools and it's also in the color Fair Neutral. For the lifestyle product, there's three things I'm dying to show you because I cannot pick one. So first of all, and I think this is what I've used most, is my hot water bottle. This one is from Primark. It's very inexpensive, but I think it's beautiful. It's really soft and it's got two pump pumps and you can open it up like this. It's got Velcro and then inside of here is the actual bottle. So you can just open this, fill it with hot water, close it and then put it back in the cover or in a jacket as I like to say. And then you've got a great hot water bottle and especially now that it's Christmas month this is amazing to just have with you when you're sitting on the sofa or even when you're in bed. I always put this where my feet are because my feet tend to get really really cold so this is heaven sent. Then I also want to show you guys this Yankee candle. It's a Christmas scent. It's called Red Apple Wreath. And it's absolutely beautiful. It smells very cinnamony, a bit sweet, I think that's the apple, and just very Christmassy. As you can see, I used it once just to try it and it was so good. I wanted to save it for December, so I've still got this and from now on I'm gonna burn this every day when I'm working, so we'll see how long it lasts. And the third lifestyle item I want to show you is this quartz crystal and <laughs> you might have seen it in an Instagram post already. I think the shape really reminds me of the Philosopher's Stone. And the thing with these stones is they are supposed to give off energy. Um, I don't really remember what kind of energy this one gives off but honestly I got it just because I think it's really pretty. It sits on my desk. I've also got a little pendant with a clear quartz crystal. I just think they're really, really jazzy and they go with everything. My favorite wardrobe piece for this month has got to be my new Mickey onesie. You might have seen it in my recent Instagram photo. It's really cozy. 
I got it because first of all, I've always loved onesies and I threw away all my old onesies and I really wanted a new one. So when I ran into this one with little Mickey heads on it, I just had to get it. I work from home now. Whenever there's a day, I know I don't have to go out and I don't have to film any videos. I live in this thing all day. And then a second fashion favorite, well, fashion, <laughs> are these Rapunzel slippers. Um, they're from Hot Topic and I just think they're really cute. They're really comfortable, they go very well with my onesie and obviously I love Rapunzel. They're really soft on the inside, they keep my feet warm. It's great. Oh, I also quickly want to mention this hat that I'm wearing right now. It's one of those cute fisherman's caps. Right here, you see Hogwarts and on the back of my head, it says Hogwarts. If you ask me, that is a good hat. My favorite jewelry pieces for the month of November. Obviously, I've already shown you my quartz crystal, but also I got this time turner necklace, and it's not the original authentic gold plated one from the Noble Collection. This is actually a really affordable necklace from eBay. I think I paid like three bucks for this, so really, really worth it because it looks really good. It spins both ways and there's actual sand in the glass. So really, I think this is all you need. So if you're looking for cheap stocking fillers, this is a really good one. Just search Time Turner in eBay and you will find loads of different ones from different sellers. And it looks great in Instagram pictures and flat lays, but I also love wearing it because it's so inexpensive. I'm not afraid to wear it out because even if I would lose it or it would get damaged, I could just order a new one because really three bucks. Just a quick bit of shameless self-promo. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, maybe you would like to check it out. I post mostly Harry Potter aesthetics, also a little bit of Disney. So if you're into those things, do check it out and maybe give me a follow. And I also want to mention my favorite app. So this is actually not a November favorite because I've been playing this app since I think January or February, but it's called Toriba, which is Japanese, you can also say Toriba, whatever you want. It's actually a website, but I'm using the app on my iPhone. And this is in no way sponsored, I've just genuinely been using this for months, almost a year actually. And I wanted to mention it in this video because a lot of things that I own have come from this app. So basically in Japan there's loads of arcades with claw machines and other kind of machines where you can win things like plushies, figurines and other kinds of things and now there is a way to control those arcade machines from the comforts of your home. If you win a prize they will actually ship it internationally for free so you actually get your prizes. So as I mentioned this Rapunzel is something I won in October. Obviously because it comes from Japan it takes a while to get to you so that's why I got it in November. But yeah they've got loads of amazing things and as you can see this is high quality stuff. It's not cheap. There's loads of Disney stuff and actually recently they've added so many Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts things. So currently I'm waiting for three boxes to come in from Tariba with things that I want. Um, they're mostly Harry Potter things, so I'm thinking maybe I should wait for these three boxes to come in and then I will unbox them with you guys and I can also show you all the things that I've won in the past. If you would like to see that, let me know in the comments down below so I know not to unbox those boxes when they come in, but instead film a video. Alright you guys, those were my November favorites. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos and if you will want me to do this at the end of every month. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give me a cheeky thumbs up.